According to a 10-page preliminary report released this afternoon by ERCOT, at the peak of the storm, the majority of the outages were weather-related, meaning things like freezing machinery at power plants and ice on wind turbines caused them to fail. I would take this report with a grain of salt. Energy expert Ed Hers, who has been critical of energy regulators and generators, isn't buying it. Here's why. In litigation, some of the generators are going to claim it was a weather-related activity that, that caused them not to come online because that gives them an opportunity, an out from their obligations and the contracts under force majeure, act of God. And so they may not have to pay on their obligations to the ERCOT market or to other counterparties. Here's the full breakdown of the reasons that power generators tell ERCOT their systems failed. Take a look at the fuel limitations category. It accounts for only 12 percent. But during House testimony last month, some of the largest power generation companies like NRG testified that lack of fuel was the number one factor to blame. If the natural gas system is compromised, the power system is going to be compromised. Yeah, you know, this report differs so radically from the testimony that was given in Austin that it just raises too many questions. Something's wrong. ERCOT says it will release its final report by the end of August, but as hers points out, since the generators are private companies, there is no way for the public to fact check them. In Dallas, I'm Charlotte Huffman.